Hey guys, ScreamFan1990 here again. Um, I have another unboxing video for you today. Um, this parcel came kind of as a surprise to me. Um, I did not expect it. Um, this particular person was going to send me anything like this. Um, and like I had mentioned in yesterday's video, um, he really restored my faith in humanity. Um, you guys will probably notice that these uh, ghost face masks out in the market right now, they are going for insane prices. I mean, to a point where you're just scratching your head. And, um, you know, Tim has always been uh, fair in his pricing. He actually sells uh, a certain assortment of masks on his website. It is ghostface.co.uk. Uh, he's been working on that website for a period of about 14 years, trying to get all the information together for Ghostface fans um, like myself and you guys out there watching this video. And um, he kind of tells you about, you know, the different stamps, the different types of masks that can be found out there. Um, he talks, you know, about uh, the man for all things Ghostface, Mr. R.J. Tolbert himself. Um, and uh, just anything that has to do with these ghost face masks is on that website. It is very, 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 very good tool to use. Um, if you don't know what you have, you go on there, you, you know, check it out. And he's got everything, you know, it, it is all broke down so you guys can understand it. It is just a really phenomenal website. Um, so this, um, like I said, was, a, was very much a surprise to me. He did not have to do this and he did it anyway and uh, sent this to me. Um, and I just want to give a shout out to him. Uh, you guys can find him on Facebook, Ghost Tim, or I believe he has an Instagram account. Um, I don't know how much he's on that account, but uh, uh, just a really, really, really nice guy to talk to. Anytime I have any questions about mass, I hit him up. He's very responsive, very kind. Um, just an all around nice guy. I really genuinely enjoy talking with him. I really do. Um, you know, and he's from the UK, so you know, people like me from here in America, I just love hearing his accent. It's actually, it makes me giggle from time to time, I'll tell you. Um, but let me uh, show you some of the stuff that's in this box. Um, let's see here. I'm trying to figure out where you can I want to be careful. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. Um, he sent this to me, like, last week. Um, and it's already here today, which is crazy because, um, you know, I had, I just did a video on, um, a parcel yesterday and it came from the UK. Block out his information here. And it took three weeks to get here. Kind of crazy. Um, oh, another thing I wanted to add too. Um, he actually has a YouTube account. You guys need to go and check him out. Um, forgive me if I'm butchering this. Not from the UK, but it's just uh, Ghostface and Knots. So Ghostface and N-O-T-T-S. Ghostface and Knots. Um, he actually just did a live stream this past Sunday uh, where he did a video call, or I'm sorry, a phone call uh, with RJ Tolbert. He answered some of our questions. Super cool to be able to see that and hear from the man himself. Um, so you guys go and check him out on YouTube as well. how to package something. <laughs> There's all kinds of stuff in here. Okay. Oh my goodness. This is just awesome. Okay. So, and he's got them in, in super nice bags too. Hmm. Alright, so the first one. Let me move this out of the way here. Oh, that smells amazing. Okay. I've been wanting one of these a black and red tag for a very long time. Um, like I said, with the market, I mean, everything that's going on right now in the Scream world, face, uh, uh, fun world, you know, these ghost face masks and stuff, people are asking outrageous prices. Um, I mean, to a point where it just kind of makes you scratch your head. I, I don't understand it. I saw somebody post an ultra white on the Facebook marketplace two days ago, and they actually had it marked for $200 saying it was a very rare item. So. Y'all just be careful. Um, this mask right here, let me see. All right, so obviously this is the one that glows in the dark. The other one I'm about to pull out, it's got a little bit different tag. It's a 9206. And 
This is a beautiful mask. God, it smells so good too. I wish you guys could just smell this thing through the camera. It is just beautiful. And I guess he told me that this, if, if you see these right here, this is specific to a UK store, if I remember him correctly. And you can actually kind of see the old pricing. I think, what is that, pounds or something? I, I don't know how. But yeah, this is a very beautiful mask. I'm so happy to be able to add this one to my collection. So thank you, Tim, for that. And I believe, yeah, this one right here. Okay, so the first one I showed you was, was a glow. It was a glow mask. This one is a non-glow, which I am so happy to be able to have both of the types. Um, look at that bad boy. Oh, hold on, we're hung up here. We're hung up here. Okay. So this is the non-glow. Hold them next to each other here. Okay. Um, I don't know. This one doesn't quite smell like vanilla. I'm not sure um, if these are supposed to, but man, these stampings on the on the back here. I mean, I'm sure my camera can't focus in on that, but I mean, it is just beautiful. Very, very, very nice shape to this mask. Man, that is nice. Okay. Ooh, look at that guy. Okay. Right. Like I said, I, you know, he didn't have to send me this by any means, you know, kind of did it out of the kindness of his heart. And uh, I will forever be indebted to him because I don't have a whole lot in my collection uh, compared to some of the other people out there. And uh, these... Gosh, they, I mean, they're just, they're so beautiful. They really are. Um, man, that looks like it's got, I thought that was a fearsome style tag when they had the messed up piece before. They, they used to come out like this, where they had the messed up jaw. And then I guess the people from Fomor went in there and they kind of sculpted it a different way. So you'll see ma uh, tags like this, and then you'll see tags where they kind of took this bend out, which is, you know, obviously just a natural bend, but... And this one, yeah, it glows in the dark. And, ooh, um, let me see. And this bad boy, if you guys can see that, this is an HN stamp. I do not have one of these yet. My, it, 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 like he was saying, it could benefit from some shaping, um, which I plan on doing a couple uh, videos for you guys in the future. Um, I would like to do a re-whitening, uh, retro-whitening video, show you guys, um, I guess, step-by-step step more how I do that, as well as I would like to do a shaping video, um, the two different methods that um, I use to shape my mask whenever, you know, they get flattened like this or they kind of get misshapen. Um, but this, this is a beauty. I am so happy to have this one in here too. Any of them I'm happy to have, I'll, I'll be honest with you. I mean, come on. It's Ghostface. It was actually kind of funny. Um, my uh, When we came home today um, from picking my son up, uh, he saw this package out on the front door, you know, and it's got, it's got Ghostface on the front of it. My son loves Ghostface. Okay, he's three and a half years old. So he picks up the package and he brings it to me and he, oh, Let's open it. Let's open it. He's like, Ghostface. Mommy, I love Ghostface. Okay, so here's a very good example of what I was talking about before. And before I go into that, this right here, this is a tea stamp. I don't know if you guys can see that. And all these stamps mean is is uh, the different factory that they came from. Um, you know, so mask that, you know, that, and then that was honestly... A way that if there was ever a problem with the mask itself, you know, back then they knew how to track it, you know. Um, and this is all information that, um, that Tim has told me and what is on his website. Um, so everything that I know about these, dang it, I learned everything from him. But here's the two different tags. You see the difference? What I was talking about, the mouth. So this would be an older tag, if I'm not mistaken. This one here. And then this was after they went in. As you can see, I mean, they look identical. They just went in there and they just kind of sculpted it and made it look a little, I guess, better in their opinion. They didn't like that. So, 
So that would make this one a little bit older than this one here. But this is your HN stamp. This is your T stamp. Both of them glow in the dark. And then you got your non-glow and your glow. Okay, black and red tags. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe these were used in uh, Scream 3. I'm pretty sure. I don't think they were using Scream 4, but I think they were using Scream 3. I'm still learning, so bear with me. But um, yeah, these are, these are wonderful additions to my collection. I'm very thankful for uh, Ghost Tim doing this for me. Um, like I said, he did not have to do it. And um, you guys really need to go and give him a follow. Um, go check him out on uh, uh, Facebook. Go check out his website. Go check out his YouTube account. He posts stuff all the time. He does live streams. And, and he does videos like that too. You know, how to shape your masks. Um, which, that's how I learned how to do the hair dryer treatment. You know, what they like to call it. So, um, anyways, you guys, uh, I appreciate y'all watching. Um, if y'all got any questions, comments, please go below. Let me know how I'm doing. Um, I have had some people comment um, on some things that they would like to see. I'm going to work on that. Um, so, I do have a couple more boxes coming. You guys stay tuned, and uh, I'd love to show you what I got. Take care.